Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is going to be episode 6 here. Uh, I mean, I've actually recorded this twice, end a piece. First time the video didn't record, the second time I had some mic issues. Hopefully those are resolved. Uh, we shall see how it all behaves now. Um, so we have two satellite missions. Those are going to be episode 6 and 7. At least that is the plan. So episode 6 here. We're going to do the Colinia orbit here for Junk Systems Incorporated. And episode 7 will be the Kyo Stationary orbit over uh, that point there. Shalong's Odyssey. So, because I've already played this a few times, and I've gone back to this quick save three times now, um, I kind of know how this will all roll out. And because I've built it, and even though it's back in an old quick save, in this playthrough it remembers everything I've built so far. So I don't have to build the whole satellite. So that's kind of nice. It's already here. Um, let's see, where is it? Yes, JSI Colinia 1. Load. Boom. So we got a satellite here. Um, for the mission, it requires... Let's put you over here. Can I shrink this? Oh, I could do this. Ooh, didn't want to do that. What are you? No, 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 no. You guys are still first. Jesus. Um, anyway, active. Colinia. So, probe, some solar panels. They are on there. And a battery underneath there as well. Uh, antenna. It's got the high gain antennas there. There, on the sides. Um, orbit. You got a massive orbit. So, it needs a seismic accelerometer, which is great, except that you can't do anything with that in space. So, it's a waste of stuff. Uh, materials Bay, Science Junior or the Universal Storage Science Junior. Unfortunately, I cannot add the Science Junior Mini. It is not listed as the acceptable piece, which is what I almost did the first time until I double-checked of this. Uh, thermometer, and even though the SETI probe that we're using for control has a thermometer on it, whoop, you have to install your own thermometer for it to check the box, and then maintain stability for 10 seconds in that Colinia orbit. Colinia orbit. Um, so, the rocket, we'll look at it from the bottom up. First stage, the two outer swivel engines launch, and we release the whole thing to go. Those burn for about a minute and give us plenty of thrust. Uh, we separate those, launch on or burn on the middle uh, swivel engine. That gives us also plenty of thrust. Burn that, get up, we'll get into space with a good chunk of fuel still in this. Uh, we'll ditch the fairing around the satellite probe, eventually separate there, and then launch the Poodle engine, or I'm sorry, the Pomeranian engine, the little, little, little bitty one, underneath, and that'll get us into the needed orbit quite handily with lots of Delta V left over. Excuse me. So, uh, that's the satellite, that's the rocket. It is at a part count of 29 out of 30. After this, we'll upgrade a few things. Well, one or two things. After these two satellite missions, we'll upgrade a good amount of the Space Center because that's helpful. So, we can save it again. And we're going to launch. I'll see you on the launch pad. Alright, so we're on the launch pad. I actually put a cut in there because I wanted to check the audio quality. And so far, it works. Yay. Yay. Um, so, anyway, we're going to get this into orbit. Oh, right. Um, so, we are... We are this, this is us, and we are just a little bit past the orbit, but that's okay. We're in a good enough place for it. So we're not going to launch equatorial. We are actually going to launch northeast-ish. So that means north is here, east is here. We're going to launch along the 45, actually closer to these numbers that are here, closer to like 30, 35 degrees. And that will get us close to the orbit, and then we'll just have to make a small correction later on. So... SAS on, throttle to full, at least for the moment. And here we go. Three, two, one. And release. And up and away we go. And already I can tell that's moving a little fast. We're going to back off just a smidgen. A smidgen more. And we're still climbing, and that's great. Once we get to 100 meters per second, which should be hopefully around 1,000 meters, uh, we'll start heading, you know, northeast-ish. A little more oomph. Again, this is my third time actually putting this satellite into orbit, so this should go rather smoothly. 
because again, it's been a few times doing this for me. Come on, let's do it this way. Maybe a little more that way. Maybe a little more that way. And prograde. And we can pretty much lock to prograde, and it should get into orbit just about right. Yeah, that should line up fairly well. Yeah, just a little further north of the 45 degree mark, and that'll be fine. Um, I kind of like this rocket design with the two outer uh, uh, engine nacelles launching and then ditching those to the inner core. Unfortunately, the part count is pretty much maxed out, so I can't recover those stages. So I'll get the red thingy saying, eh, you couldn't recover them, womp womp, but that's, that's okay. So we're going a little steep, although it's not too bad. We're going to be at 15. We're a little shy of 40, 45 degrees, but that's okay because our orbit, well, is slowly building up there, but our orbit, we're actually going to burn our orbit up pretty high, and I'm not really worried about actually getting into a full uh, orbit for a while yet because we have so much space to work with up here that it doesn't matter. We'll get our apoapsis up really high. We've got lots of delta V to do it as well. Um, yeah, this will work. This will be just, just fine. Maybe a slightly uh, flat orbit, but that's... Uh, no, that actually it won't be. No, we'll, we'll keep going um, at some point. No, we're still a little low for that. At some point, I will just lock to a direction, I think, maybe? Not quite yet, though. Let's see, how does this look? So there's us. What's our descending node? Negative 20. Is that shrinking? I think it should shrink a bit as we burn further north. We're burning, oh, we're burning pretty much 45. Eh. Um, no, we'll keep going. Yeah, that ended up being a bit more 45 degrees than I meant it to be, so it's not as clean as it could have been, but it's fine. It'll still work out just fine. So we're getting up pretty fast. We're about to leave the atmosphere. There we are, out of the atmosphere. Our apoapsis is climbing up pretty high. So we're probably just going to, yeah, we're going to cut it there before it gets too swung out that way. We'll make corrections like I uh, intended, or I like I did last time, because it wasn't as clean as it could have been. So, we're up here. We can ditch the fairing. Wow, that ejects really hard. So we don't need it. We can extend everything. Extend the antenna. Extend the panel. Extend the panel. And extend this antenna. Oops, so there, everything's happy. Everything should be working just fine. Uh, we still have some delta V. Unfortunately, because this rocket's big enough, maneuvering is a little sluggish. But it's okay. It will work. So we've got a ways to go till we hit our apoapsis. We're actually going to burn prograde-ish here to stick our periapsis out. We'll be able to tweak things back into shape. We'll, we'll use some normal, anti-normal, and radial, anti-radial type of things to get us where we want to be. Um, oh, right. I wanted to rename this as, no, as an actual probe as opposed to a relay, because that's just annoying. Oh, right. What is this? Yes. Uh, record of speed. Yay. And then lost those two stages. Boo-hoo. Because I didn't, because I couldn't put parachutes on them. Oh, no. All right. So we are almost up. We're going to put a quick save here. We're going to warp to about, oh, here-ish. We don't have maneuver planning or anything yet, so I can't click warp to here, which I really, that's something I really miss, warping to here. Okay, so now we can just point ourselves prograde. Again, a little sluggish. Mm, maybe not like that. Uh, let's see, can we... What's what? Let's try a thing or two here. No, not normal. Uh, I think when I did the last, I burnt radial out, so that should be, yes, radial out. That's that blue marker with the lines pointing outward. Come on. When you get smarter probe cores, you can just tell it to point one or the other. So we're going to burn radial out, and that should, yes, 
Mm, kind of. Mm, kind of, but not as much. Pity. That actually lowered our periapsis. So, in that case, we're just going to wait until we get to our apsis, burn a bit to get ourselves into a stable orbit. We're going to use uh, anti-radial more to, whoa, hello music, uh, to get us in a better place um, to swing this up up and around, but not quite yet. Do, 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 do. Is it is that? That kills time warp. Okay. Yes, it does. The question mark slash slash uh, button. Okay, prograde. Let's go. And then we'll just, this shouldn't take much to get us uh, into orbit. And I know I'm going to stage during this, so we're going to go ahead and go here. So we'll go ahead and burn. And that's going to run out. So we will burn with this guy just a little bit more. And we're in orbit. Good. We are now in a safe actual orbit. We're going to burn a little more. Just bring it up to about 100 because that's where we're going anyway. Oop, there we go. Good. So now we're in a safe and stable orbit. So there are a couple things we could do. We, we are off by 20 degrees. Not insurmountable. And obviously our orbit is just a little bit tweaked. When we get down here where it crosses, we're going to burn anti-radial. So we're going to do that first, right? Yes, we're going to go down here, burn anti-radial to swing this orbit, this apoapsis up here so it's in line between these two. Then when we come back around to our periapsis, we're going to stretch the apoapsis up to here-ish, roughly. And then when we're at our higher point, we'll fix our inclination. Uh, yes, 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 yes. All pretty straightforward and easy-ish things to take care of. So, all right, I can't warp to here. Boo. Uh, quick save, because we are in a safe and stable orbit. We can time warp to, yeah, to down here. And then, like I said, we'll burn um, anti-radial, that, that blue circle with the lines pointing outward. Oh, that one that we're about to cross over right now. And so there we are for that. We're pretty close to it. Ooh, oh, right, 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 right. Once we lost that other stage, this guy maneuvers really, really fast. So this should, yep, this should burn that, or it should shift that up that way. Slowly. Although I'm not sure what's more efficient, to do it like this first, and then grow the apoapsis, or, or what? Oh well. Yeah, so our periapsis is also growing, but that's okay. We will adjust that later. Um, so we want those to get nicely lined up, just like so. And we're, hey, we're at our periapsis, so now we can point prograde and just burn. Prograde and stretch our apoapsis up to roughly the same level because we're at such a different inclination it's going to shift around anyway later but we'll get it close about like there so we're off by a couple hundred kilometers but that's okay so we've got that we got to the right altitudes ish roughly um, next we need to fix our inclination and then fine-tune those apoapses and periapses so let's see Descending node, ascending nodes. Our ascending node, we're at a higher altitude, so it'll actually be more efficient. They're pretty close, so it's not going to make that big a difference. Oh, it might. So we'll warp around to this ascending node and fix the inclination there. Come on. A thousand times. Up and over. Okay, so we're coming up on the ascending node. So, uh, we are going to be pointing, let's see, we are ascending through the nodes. So we want to be pointing, not normal, but anti-normal. We want to be pointing down-ish through the node. And that should see that ascending node change. It should drop. Yes. And, of course, it'll get a little further away from us because we're still a bit away from it. We're actually going to wait just a smidgen because it's a little more efficient to burn closer to it. 
like there. There, you can see it rotating right around that ascending node. Then it pushes away a little bit. Eight, seven, six, we're gonna wait. Creep up on it a little more. Burn again. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Good, so we are lined up in the same inclination as our prescribed orbit, but it is a wee bit funky. Interesting. Well, that's okay. We can we can easily correct this. So we're going to get down to roughly our periapsis and shrink our apoapsis. Probably a little bit past the periapsis to shrink the apoapsis back closer to this. Let's go ahead and quick save one more time. Quick saving is always our friend. And we're going to time warp. Like I said, a little bit past the actual periapsis, which is pretty high compared to where we want the periapsis to be. So about there. We're going to point retrograde. We're going to get these guys again kind of close. Doesn't take much. Good. And then... Uh, there. And then, because uh, the orbit's a little shifted again, we're going to burn radial this time. Whereas I think before we burned anti-radial, now burning radial, or radial out, now burning radial in to swing it in the other direction. Yes. Getting that apoapsis to kind of pair up with this one here. And it is going up a bit, that's fine. Again, we can fine-tune it because we're pretty much at the periapsis. Oh, it's actually dropping back down. Beautiful. And those two are just about on top of each other. We'll burn whoop, retrograde. Just a smidgen. Good. Ooh, that's nice. Good. So that's pretty well lined up there. We're going to quick save one more time before we do one more big uh, time warp. Come on. Uh, a little more. A little closer. There we go. Okay, so again, retrograde. Well, let's focus on the planet. And get these guys lined up so I can see what they are. 103 and 311. Doesn't take much. Passing through 200, 150, whoa, and stop. Oh, okay, so the orbit went away, so that tells you you're close, you're lined up. And maintain stability for 10 seconds, done. We have succeeded at uh, uh, it putting the satellite into the correct Colinia, Col Colinia? Colnia, I keep saying Colnia, Colnia orbit. So, what do we got? Yes, we got the monies, and, oh, come on, and we lost that other part. Pity, it didn't, it didn't make it into orbit. Oh, well. So, there is that. And, because we got this satellite in a high orbit, we can turn this on now and let it do its science. We're going to let, because it's going to be at least two, there we go, materials study. We can transmit that, and I know it's going to ruin it, kind of. And then we can transmit that as well. So we got a little more science. We should be up above, yeah, 100 now. Awesome. And we can keep this guy here. We might get a mission to adjust this guy's orbit or something at some point. Oh, hi there, moon. And we still have 800 delta V. So that's that's pretty sweet right there. And there you have it. That's how you put a satellite into a, uh, a particular prescribed orbit. So we got some money. We actually got a decent amount of money from that. Um, we got some science. We weren't going to spend the science. Science? the science yet but we want to i want to upgrade something we're going to upgrade actually two things tracking stations right now orbits are visible that's great patched conics help you get more information and then uh, the other one i want is mission control because right now we're limited to three contracts which is uh, limiting but when you upgrade you also get flight planning and yes nine contracts so boom there we go so we're still at 212 that's fine because our next satellite is only going to cost like 20000 And then after that, we'll upgrade the vehicle assembly building. And we'll get some more science as well. But that's it for this episode. Episode 6. Uh, hopefully this audio was good. I don't have to re-record stuff. 
Uh, but episode 7, we'll be putting a satellite into a geostationary orbit. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. If you like, hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, pass the word. I will catch you later.